is one of the interesting things to note that since you mentioned that it's a 49 year low since 1969, two of the industries that were actually high growth in 1969, one of them continues to be a high growth area today. Uh, one of them is manufacturing and the other one that's actually not is retail. And so it's an interesting fact of some things have changed, but. And, and where's the biggest mismatch in terms of demand massively outstripping supply, supply and demand right? really around healthcare and moving more into technology roles such as AI cybersecurity one of the things we're seeing is not only just the labor shortage but actually a skills gap that's happening across America why aren't we seeing higher wages if it's so tight and we're at this 49 year low in the unemployment rate I mean, 3%, I guess, from last year is an improvement on wages, mm -hmm. but still not really where you'd think it, be, it would be at this stage of recovery. Career Builder ran a study across our entire candidate universe, and surprisingly, pay was not even mentioned in the top five. What candidates are really looking for is location is number one, a good boss. 60% are willing to leave for a different boss than they have today. They're looking for culture. Benefits is really important. So it's not really around pay today anymore. So you're saying workers aren't demanding it? So they're getting sort of incentives in other places? It's not what's driving the turnover. It's not what's driving people looking for another job. It's that and actually skills and investing, one of the things that they're really looking for from employers. And while it's a candidate marketplace, if you look at the job report today, it really is a challenge for the employer side that if they're not investing and really realizing that today, technology infrastructure for HR hiring is no longer a choice. It's mandatory if you want to get some of the best talent. And so a lot of what they're doing to find that talent, because it's not out there today, is investing in upskilling and reskilling their existing employees. We also did see a very uh, strong productivity uh, report this yeah. week. So in other words, companies getting more to fewer workers. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that's partly just replacing those workers you can't find with technology. Well, 50% of our employer base that we talk to has openings because they cannot find qualified talent. And so one of the things that they're looking to is technology, but the other thing is the idea of perfection and the perfect candidate no longer exists. So one of the patterns that a career builder we're seeing employers and we're advising them for those that really are winning at the talent game is to stop really looking so much on the resume and start really basing it on skills. It's no longer about experience, but what are the skills that you're looking for that that person can have in order to matriculate into the role that you want them to. What's the top company everyone wants to work for these days? The tech companies are huge. Uh, West Coast continues to be moving as far as the biggest region that we're seeing a lot of growth is moving, is people actually relocating, uh, moving more into the West Coast and actually Midwest in um, cybersecurity roles.